Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. Happy New Year, happy 2020, happy new decade, all that good stuff. Um, as you see cards on your screen, it's time for a reading. This time around, it's not your um your regular regular monthly or you know lunar cycle reading. It is for the year of 2020. Going to be looking at five cards here, energy coming in for you, or the energy that you'll be working with throughout this year. Looking at um the tarot card, sorry. <laughs> so I had like space there. Looking at the tarot cards, we're going to be... Um, Looking at finances and career, love and relationships, and personal growth. And as always, a little spread or a little staple in my spreads, gonna be looking at a soul message for you, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread. This reading is for my Pisces sisters and brothers, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. So before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and/or rising sign, which I do have linked down below in the description box. Okay. So yeah, let's just go on and get it cracking. First card that I have coming up for you, Pisces, is in the position of the energy for you this year, and you've got the Divine Feminine, and this resonates with the numerical energy of the number six. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the number six. Six is considered the perfect number in numerology. It is a number that is associated with the energy of harmony. Um, and then the Divine Feminine energy that you have here. We're talking about this energy of reception, talking about this energy of femininity, also talking about this energy of, you know, um, I associate divine feminine energy with the water. So associating your energy for the year with the energy of flow. So Pisces, your energy this year is very compatible with who you are in general. So <laughs> for you guys, I think the message, the main message is when I say it's very compatible with who you are, is that you are going to be coming into your own this year, Pisces into the into your own this year Pisces um and when I when I do readings I, I'm learning now to pay attention to the way that things come out and um the way that I stumble over my words I was saying come into your I was trying to say come into your own Pisces and I got stopped um and then I said I had to say it again um and I feel like the energy there was just kind of a little reminder and maybe for me to tell you guys Pisces do not hesitate to do what you're supposed to do or do what you want to do this year um, if you feel like that's for you, if you feel like you're aligned with it, don't stop yourself. Don't even stop to think about what people are going to think about you or think about what you're doing. Just do the damn thing. You can explain shit later if you even feel the need to. I'm personally somebody that doesn't feel like, and I know people, oh, that's not the best way to be, but I don't feel like I need to explain anything I do to anybody. And that's kind of the energy that you got to go with this year, Pisces. You got a lot of shit that's going to be popping off for you this year. Um, a lot of independence cards coming up in your spread, and I will get to those in a minute, but in order for you to receive, in order for you to tap into this divine feminine and tap into this harmonious energy of the number six, you've got to do work and you've got to do what you got to do and do what you want to do in order to see yourself come into and be open to receiving all of the abundance and return of whatever it is that you're putting in, okay? So overall for you guys this year, Pisces, it's all about allowing life allowing the currents to lead you into where you need to be and also being receptive into the help that's coming into you or into the advice or the um the knowledge that is being dropped upon you because you'll need it during this year um the divine feminine card also comes with a very collaborative energy so there may be some people coming in or some energies coming in or some like i said some knowledge coming in that you need to be open to receiving so that you can you know progress forward with whatever it is that you want to do pisces okay that's all I'm going to say about that Divine Feminine card. I'm going to go a little bit further, and I'll touch back on it as I go throughout your cards, but I want to get into your tarot cards because I've been looking at your first card, and I'm just hella excited to tell you guys about this. <laughs> so let's go on and just kick into the tarot now. First card that you've got coming up in your spread is in the position of your career and your finances, and you've got a Zaka. This is the Rada 10. Um, and traditionally in tarot, the 10 of swords is not one of my favorite cards i traditionally consider it an all shit card but in this new orleans voodoo tarot deck this is actually one of my favorite 10 cards this card comes with the energy of 
having gone through the motions, having dealt with all the hard shit. You see this guy? He's um he's literally tending to new land and you can tell that you know he's been a little bit through the trenches because he's got these seeds trailing behind his feet so this is not his first go around you feel me this is not the first time he's starting this garden the difference here is that he's cooling he's got his little pipe in his mouth he's got his tools there's a rainbow up ahead and he sees the grass on the other side and he's like okay i'm gonna build the grass over here because I have it and I can so that I can just you know smoothly transition into that grass on the other side you know people say the grass is always greener on the other side I don't know who came up with that but that is not necessarily true you can cultivate your own grass and make it as green as you want to be and you can also go and check out the other grass too um, this card comes with this message of having all of the things that you need to do what it is that you want to do right um, there's a Snow Allegra song that I listen to. It's one of my like personal affirmations. Um, all I have is all I need. And that is the energy that you have coming up here in this position of your finances and career, Pisces. So for you guys, what I get is you've kind of been through the trenches. As far as your finances go, I get this sense, especially being water. Water signs, except for Scorpio, we are just not very good with our money unless there's really something that we got to take care of like kids. Like other than that, we're, it's it's just not... It's not a thing. Um, you may have been in this position, Pisces, to where you're like, okay, I have this income and I've been here and I've done this, but I still ain't got nothing to show for it. I don't have anything in my savings. As far as you, Pisces, and career and your careers um, goes, you may have been in this position to where you're like, okay, I've been doing this and I've been trying to get to that other grass, but I've got this little blank patch of land here. How do I tend to this? What am I doing? I have everything that I need. Pisces, you have the seeds in your pocket. He's trailing seeds behind at his feet. Literally, there's feet, there's feet, there's seeds, but <laughs> there's seeds trailing behind him. You know, tap back into what you know. This is an air card. Tap into your intellect. What have you picked up on? What have you done? What have you learned along your journey that you know will work? And go on and take the little tidbits of knowledge. Take that energy and move it forward so that it is in alignment with this other green grass and this rainbow up here in these clear skies. You have everything that you need, Pisces. You just got to, excuse me, you have just got to shift your perspective and how you work with what you have. Um, this is an air card. So this is a card that resonates with the energy of intellect too. And lending that intellect to your finances and career it does tell me, Pisces, that in 2020, whatever you've been doing, you're going to have this epiphany moment to say, okay, I understand why I'm not getting the results that I wanted. This is what I got to do. And when you get to that, this is what I got to do point. And that's a divine energy, a divine feminine energy coming in. I understand what it is. I understand what needs to change, right? I understand what will make things harmonious for me within my financial and career uh, sector of my life, right? Do what you got to do. Put the change in and you'll see things start to shift for you in the physical. You'll start saving that money that you wanted to save. You'll have that income that you wanted to have. Your efforts in your career will not go unnoticed and they will be received way better than you could have ever dreamt of, okay? So just keep in mind that there's a very positive outlook for you in, as far as your money and your jobs go during this year, Pisces, but you've got to be open to understanding what needs to change. So that is very important for you this year. And understand, change does not come without work. So Pisces, if you don't get to that point, don't come back to my video like, oh, I ain't got no money and you said I would have some money. Uh-uh. Did you do what you were supposed to do? Then if you didn't, okay, peace, back to square one, figure out what needs to be done so that you can get to this Azaka energy. This is a popping ass energy to have coming up in the financial area, okay? Okay, y'all, uh, the next card that I have coming up for you, Pisces, is in the position of love and relationships. This is in the position, um, and this card is La Seren, and it's actually a very positive energy for both. There's just like one message, and I think that's for the people in relationships, but I'll save that for when I read for them. I'm going to read this for both the singles and for the couples. This is the Congo Seven. This is the Seven of Cups. Um, traditionally, when I read the Seven of Cups, I read it with this energy of nothing is as it seems, kind of like the world being turned upside down, but still kind of seeming like it's right, but not necessarily being right and needing to work through certain shit to understand how it's supposed to be. Um, La Seren in this deck, and, I, and correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but I believe that's how it's pronounced, um, carries this energy of coming into 
alignment with the self. This is a Congo card. So this is all about the feelings, emotion, intuition, and spirituality, right? You've got this little mermaid. She's like in the middle of the ocean. Um, there's a well behind her, and I believe that's La Belline, the, the crying well. <laughs> um, but she's far off from that, right? She's not in the, I'm not crying no more. But it's still kind of there in the background. Those things are still kind of lingering. Seven is associated with the energy of truth, right? And philosophy. So with this coming up here for my single Pisces, what I pick up is you guys are in this space to where you are healing, where you are ready to heal, where you're ready to, you know, swim off into, you know, the next, into your next direction. But you are still harnessing some old habits, some old hurt some old energy, some something from lovers past, situations past. And it's causing a little bit of ruckus here in the background, if you can see, like there's La Belline crying and shit and causing like a little baby tsunami water spout back there. Meanwhile, here you are trying to do your work. And if you look closely at her hand, she has these tethers. And this is, this could be tethered back to all this shit back here. So for my single Pisces, you want love. You want a man or a woman. You want to be in a relationship. You want somebody to give you this and somebody to do this for you. Okay, but can you really expect for that to come to you when you are actually still rooted in what has transpired prior to? Whether you've been like, I'm good, I'm over it. Being over it does not necessarily mean that you are not detached from it. So being over certain things means that you've just done the work to process you've still got the baggage. It means you've released the baggage, but you've still got the baggage. And some of you are actually still carrying around the bags subconsciously. Like you just came from the grocery store. Like if you're, okay, prime example, I used to live in the DMV and I never had a car out there. I would walk to all my stores and sometimes I would take my suitcase um, to put my groceries in so I wouldn't have to carry bags if I decided I didn't want to wait for the metro or wait for the bus so I could just, you know, walk the few blocks or like it was more like a 15 minute walk or walk home. Oftentimes I would do that so I wouldn't feel the weight of the bags that I had to carry home. Pisces, there's some things that you've got to carry home. There's still some shit that you've got to work through and you've put it in your suitcase, but little do you know, you are willing your suitcase home. So Pisces, what is it that still triggers you when you think of love? What happens when you are talking to somebody and they say something or they do something that puts you in a position that's like, oh, wait a minute, this is familiar. I don't know if I like it. Those are things that you've got to work through. Those are things that you've got to get through. Once you release these cords that La Serena is holding on to and once you calm these waters and allow La Belene to, to swim away, you will find yourself in a position to where you can put out the energy that you would like to receive back i always say be the type of partner that you want to be with so pisces i think for you single pisces 2020 is for you to become the type of lover that you want i always say like i just said you get back what you put out so you've got to work through certain things and you know actually release the baggage put the groceries away before you can actually come into okay let's make the dinner let's prepare something for something else all right now, for my Pisces in relationships, first and foremost, I, this is, I've been wanting to say this and wanting to say this, so this is a message for some, a specific set of people. Again, remember, this is general, but when things keep coming up, I feel like I have to say them. Pisces, you are creative, so I know a lot of you are musicians or singers or writers or whatever. For those of you in relationships, this year is probably going to be a year to where your passion becomes your first love. If you're in relationships there could be one of two things you just find yourself putting your relationship on the back burner or you find yourself ruffling up waters in the background because your partner's not okay with you putting your heart and mind and soul into what you were passionate about because it's taking away from them and you might find yourself single just wanted to throw that out there again this is general this may not this wasn't for everybody but it was for somebody now going into the the main message that i wanted to give to the singles um this is a card of it's the water card rinsing away as i said earlier things are not as they seem so for you guys in relationships there may be some underlying something that maybe you have worked through or some things that you may have pushed under the rug because you were like uh, is it worth it but in the long run it kind of became worth it it kind of bothered you a little bit more and more and more and more and more and more and to the point to where now you're like uh i've got to come into this space to where i can cleanse myself of this energy but you can't even cleanse yourself of the energy because it's still bothering you in the background. 2020, 
for you guys in relationships, for those relationships that prosper throughout this year. It's going to be a year of tough conversations. I'm really heart to hearts, breaking bread. And, you know, just depending on the nature of your relationship, you may find yourself growing closer with your partner or you may find yourself growing apart from your partner. For those of you guys that find yourselves growing closer to your partner, La Serena is also a pregnancy card. So for those of you in relationships, Pisces, you may be getting pregnant this year, maybe getting your partner pregnant or maybe considering bringing in a little extra person into the family. Um, but also remember, I said with this message, nothing is as it seems. So as you're having these tough conversations, just be very mindful of how you're moving. As you are working through these things in your relationship, be very mindful of how you're moving. And also if that is the energy for you and it's it's pulling you a little bit more towards leaving the relationship, try to, and I, I don't want to say this like this, but try to prevent yourself from, you know, having babies because when you do shit in karmic situations that are not meant to keep going it's when things just get all crazy so keep in mind this is a pregnancy card so if you're not trying to get pregnant this year pisces i would be careful um but also as far as your relationships goes a lot of clarity either washing away old dense shit or clarity for you to swim off in a different direction like the pisces that you are um, but definitely another card of coming into the self, okay? Being open to receiving what it is that you need to receive, the knowledge that you need to receive, and understanding the work that you need to do as far as love and intimacy and romance goes for you, okay? All right, y'all. Next uh, tarot card in the spread is in the position of your personal growth, and you've got the Petro Ungan. This is the king of fire in this deck. Um, and as you see, He's just beating away at his drums, the little eyes is closed. He is feeling it. He's got the fire under his feet, right? So your personal growth this year, Pisces, I believe is all about you. It's all about what it is that you want to do. Again, with that Azaka card, you have everything that you need. With the Divine Feminine and this uh, Six energy here, you are coming into balance, into alignment with what you were supposed to be coming into alignment with. With this La Seren card, you are washing away whatever needs to be washed away and you are also coming into this space to where you know you are understanding and gaining clarity of what it is that you want and you need and so with this petrol ungan card you come into this you're coming into this energy over the course of 2020 of really moving in your own light i think i said at the beginning like this year is about you or this is a you year or something like that or maybe that was the last reading i don't know look i do 12 i don't know i really don't know y'all but this is a you year if i didn't say it already pisces this year is about coming into your that's what i said you're coming into your own this year is about coming into your own pisces um coming into what works for you coming into what you're supposed to be aligned with and you've got to allow the currents of this year to lead you to where you need to be but as you do so you've got to be in this position to where you understand the changes being made you understand the person that you're growing into understanding the person that you're growing into or the types of energy that you're coming into helps you actually progress forward and work with that energy in a very harmonious way so for you guys 2020 is all about like i said living the life you want to live understanding the self and understanding that you have everything you need to create the reality that you like to be a part of and i think that's a very beautiful energy um for a lot of the signs it's kind of quiet this year it's a year of work for some of the signs it's super popping and then for some of the signs it's just like this divine energy it's just like this divine shift this divine timing this divine coming into the self and pisces you are one of the signs that has that divine energy hanging over your spread which is actually really very positive saying that you know the changes you come into this year are really going to help you lay the foundation for the self for this year and the decade to come so you'll be doing the things that you want to do and you'll have everything that you need in order to do so okay all right pisces the next and last card for you guys and the last card of all of these 2020 readings you guys are my last you're my last group so I say that with a sigh of relief because this who these readings be taxing y'all but I, I do like putting them out I do like getting these messages out to you you got your soul message and in that position you've got the color brown the message here is to establish boundaries on the card the literal mess literal message that comes with it um but I think I'm gonna read this a little bit more intuitively based on the imagery and you know the color Brown is associated with the earth. I associate brown with the root chakra and also the earth star chakra. I mean, then you've got this little leaf sprouting. So I think the message here for you, Pisces, is that you have got to ground yourselves, 
again with that azaka card this is not a coincidence you get to ground yourselves in what it is that you want to see play out for you is this the growth you want to ground yourselves in the growth that you want to see okay so you you got your seeds you plant them you cultivate them you tend to them and then you reap what you've sown and that's what it is here um we're gonna make established boundaries interchangeable with lay foundations plant your seeds okay this year is all about planting seeds and being open to understanding what types of seeds you need to plant and then making the moves in regards to that um going back to what i was saying about the chakras earth star and your root chakra again goes all back to grounding stability foundation and it's also associated with your finances this year i would definitely say do some root chakra earth chakra work if you get the chance to go out into nature do some hiking if you can you guys are water so also you can go to like a beach or go put your toes in a lake or something. i'm from colorado so that's not that's not that weird but i know some of you guys are like excuse me put my toes in a lake <laughs> excuse me <laughs> yes go put your toes in a lake pisces go splish splash somewhere um just be in nature as much as you can just be safe in nature um but be in nature as much as you can this year kind of get in tune with the nature spirits um you know um do some gaia meditations if you can do a lot of root chakra and earth star chakra work i know a lot of people are not very familiar with the earth star chakra but that is the chakra located underneath your feet um not it's not where your root is placed it's not one of the seven primary chakras that most of us know about um so do some research on that do earth star and root chakra meditations work with some earth star and root chakra stones um i've got a couple here you can work with aragonite um smoky quartz if you really want to kick it up some champagne or quartz uh do i have any other black stones here i don't um numite uh shungite i think is how it's pronounced uh jet hematite onyx black onyx um red stones as well you can do that like garnet for earth star but garnet for earth star and root um red jasper uh ruby i'm like trying to think of all of the red stones that i own red jasper ruby um oh obsidian um, mahogany obsidian also snow i love snowflake obsidian i haven't worked with snowflake obsidian in a while uh, black stones red stones and brown stones because i could literally sit here and talk to y'all for hours on end about the types of stones that y'all need to work with um you can carry these stones around with you in your pocket close to your root star chakra if it's if it's comfortable for you you can put one in your shoe if they're small enough you can get ankle bracelets that's what i'm gonna make make some ankle bracelets well not make some if you're interested i think i'm gonna put ankle bracelets up on my site um with those stones in them um also you could uh you could also um just meditate with them on these chakras um just really work out your root work out your foundation because that's what this year is about for you okay all right you guys that's your spread i hope it resonated with you if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them down below if you'd like your own personal reading um you can book one with me through my etsy shop i also as i was saying i have chakra jewelry up there as well so you can check that out too um i've got a pick a card reading for the decade i talked about laying the foundation for 2020 in the next 10 years in this video a little bit i think so go ahead and check that out that's linked down below uh what else 22 universally listen just click on all the links that i got down in that box because i am forgetting i don't know thank you guys for rocking with me um thank you for getting me to 1k i'm gonna be putting up a, vi a video to celebrate that in a week or so doing a giveaway a 1k giveaway um so if you're interested hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you can keep up with when i put that out so you can participate um other than that i think that's it for my shameless plugs wishing you guys nothing but happiness blessings abundance all that good stuff for the year 2020 and the decades to come and thank you guys so much for watching i will catch y'all next time peace